So we've got a lot to cover here, so I'm going to let the standard features on the trailer go, but it is all aluminum frame. Weighs in at about 6,600 pounds. It's probably 2,000 pounds lighter than a steel frame counterpart. Now we've got a 28-foot box plus a 4-foot V-nose in the front here and a .040 screwless exterior skin shown here obviously in a white stone guard in the front. So you've got multiple doors here. You've got a, a single RV style door here that houses a propane tank on the inside. And you've got a 48 inch, widened 48 inch RV entrance door. Now you open this up and it's got a gas shock in the top corner that actually keeps the door spring loaded and open. On the inside of this RV door, you've got a nice screen door. Now down below, aluminum pull out step. One of my favorite accessories is the manual rollout awning shown here with an aluminum weather shield up top. So I'm just going to illustrate how that awning actually rolls out. Total setup time under two minutes, well under two minutes, and easy to accomplish with just one person. So equipped on this trailer went with tandem 7,000 pound axles shown here with modular wheels. The modular wheels simply have holes cut out, uh, just a different look from the stars you might see in some of the other trailers. But we went with a spread axle, standard spread is 8 inches apart and it just allows us to trim out in between the tires and by going with 16 inch tires that come standard with this size axle, it really fills in this wheel well area nicely. Now you can see the trim in front and behind of the tires here uh, actually drop down this what we call perimeter skirting and it gives the trailer a very unique look uh, up on top here the standard 500 watt quartz lights that would normally come with the electrical package were upgraded to these 12 volt led lights here so some of the trim work is really nice here you've got a seven inch lower trim that's all riveted on you can see our led clearance lights here that wrap around the outside of the trailer and you've got a four inch upper trim as well now i did want to point out the reverse beaver tail so there's a beaver tail inside the trailer and that allows for easier loading uh, when you have a low profile car. But the reverse beaver tail is actually where the rear of the trailer slopes up. If you can do that, if it slopes up and that prevents the rear end from dragging. So that's what we call a reverse beaver tail. The exterior kicks up in the rear even though it slopes down on the inside. Now on the driver's side of the trailer, what we'll call the business side of the trailer, we've got our water intakes and dump valves. So you've got your freshwater tank, an RV style hookup here that's going to fill up the freshwater tank on the inside. You can see up top here we've got an antenna that's set up for a stereo system that we've got on the inside of the trailer. Down low you've got a 50 amp motor base plug. Now we give you a 25 foot lifeline cord with a twist lock. You actually plug it right into this motor base and that's what powers your 110 volt electrical on the inside. To empty out your tanks you simply pull these levers. There's one for the black tank and one for the gray tank here. Now since this is set up as a car hauler, we put our standard escape door on here. Now what I mean by standard is we've got a nice, really nice piano hinge RV side door with an RV door latch on it. And you simply open up the door like this. It allows you to get out. Now what makes it standard is I would highly recommend taking a look at one of our premium escape door trailers where the entire side of the trailer flips up if you have a super low profile car. Up above the ramp door we've got our LED loading light spoiler that looks super sharp on this model. We've got LED tail lights as well. Now the locking mechanisms that lock the door a little bit different than some of our other trailers. This is what we call a recessed cam lock. So this operates by simply opening up like this. There's an internal locking mechanism and you open your door here. Now the danger here is you need to make sure you push these handles in so they don't dig into the ground and you break them. But it is a really nice locking mechanism outside of your standard cam lock. So we've got a dual spring assist ramp door covered in diamond plates. So it's an aluminum tread plate. Underneath here is just a three quarter inch plywood. And you've got a nice aluminum tread plate flap to go with. One of the constant issues that people have is the gap that goes from the trailer into the deck, from the ramp to the deck, uh, that constantly gets filled with debris. So we cover that up with what we call a gapless continuous hinge, prevents dirt and debris from falling down into there. Now you'll see that we've got recessed e-track that we'll take a look at here in a moment. Rolling inside the trailer you see we've got our coin rubber flooring that's all throughout. Uh, we've also got nice diamond plate runners that go directly underneath your tires as you roll inside the trailer. Tie down points are very critical when you want to tie down a piece of equipment or a car. And we've got some nice recessed E-Track in the floor. Two strips that run front to back, provides tie down points all throughout anywhere you want. Up on the walls here, you're going to see that we have carpeting rising up part way 
and then from there on up, including the ceiling, aluminum. One really unique feature of this trailer is we went with a fold down double bunk in the rear. You can see it doesn't take up any more space than the wheel well does when it's folded up. And to fold down, you simply pull it down and you're all set, ready for the night. Here's a nice look at what that escape door looks like from the inside. So you pull your car in and you just simply open up your RV style escape door like so. You can see there's a nice 110 volt receptacle throughout the trailer. We've got several of those. We've got a combination of electrical in here including 12 volt and 110 volt. Your 110 volt package powers your receptacles and your fluorescent lights that you can see recessed into the ceiling as well as the air conditioning unit up here. The 12 volt system simply run off a battery and a converter. Uh, runs your 12 volt lights here that are recessed, those are LED lights, as well as your stereo system up front. Way up in the front of the trailer, you're gonna see we have a recessed tire compartment in the floor. It's great for a spare tire, or you can also utilize it for extra storage. Uh, just in front of that, you can see we've got a recessed winch compartment as well. Now, there's no winch inside of this particular compartment. It's set up for a future winch. All you have to do is add the winch. It's already wired and ready to go. Now, just out of the uh, screenshot there, you might be able to see a fire extinguisher we're required to put a safety package on a trailer if you do have a bed inside of the trailer. Basically tucked up into the V-nose is where you've got your bathroom package. So you've got a nice countertop space here with some cabinetry and a little bit of storage underneath. Now you've got your water heater and your water pump housed underneath here. So there's not a lot of space underneath the sinks. But you've got a nice sink, vanity mirror, and overhead storage as well as the stereo system uh, CD deck mp3 player that we mentioned earlier. More receptacles uh, throughout the trailer. Here's one uh, that we can take a look at here as well as a thermostat up on the wall to control your air conditioning unit. Now over on this side we've got a nice compartment opens up more storage space. We tucked away our battery, our breaker box, and our converter all inside of this storage area here. We open up this door and inside we go into the bathroom. Inside of the bathroom enclosure, we've got our stand-up shower. Now, this isn't a large shower where you walk in, it's got a nice dual head, his and her type shower unit. It's a trailer, so got to keep it kind of small. But even though it's small, we make up for it by making it as nice as we possibly can. So inside the shower, you get a nice stand-up, nice sliding door, as well as your toilet on this side. So you get a little bit of a picture of what the, uh, the actual toilet looks like here, and you've got a little storage area for towels or anything else you might need to, uh, to put on this side. So again, not a lot of space in here, but it's just tucked into the Vino, so it's out of the way. It doesn't take up uh, much of your cargo space, car hauler space, in the rear of the trailer.